things now succeed. 6a say, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. You may be seated. Yes, sir. We want to talk tonight with going into the new year. I'd just like to ask you a question. And the question is, how much do you have? How much do you have? I don't know about you, but it's just a blessing for us to be in the house of the Lord Amen. once again. Yeah. Uh, as I was going through today, and I was thinking about how God does things to get our attention. Okay. He took one of uh, the members, longtime member of Pleasant Valley, she passed on Christmas night and buried her on today. Yes, sir. I wanted my deacon sing a song about it could have been. And I was standing or uh, sitting and I was listening to the various testimonies. As a matter of fact, we really didn't need or if we had a preaching could have came in the uh, year of 2017. Because everybody in this building has a testimony. Amen. 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 The God, the God that I serve, he says, if you are ashamed to own me before man, I will be ashamed to own you before my father. Before my father. Amen. I, 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 I look at how we treat God. Pastor Bowman, I, I share with the Pleasant Valley Church family that they ought to be glad that I'm not God. Amen. And that my last name is Harris, mm -hmm. not God. Because the way we treat God. Say it, Doc. Say it. Yeah, you can talk back to him if come you want. Come on. Come yeah. on. The way we treat him. Well, well. I wouldn't accept it. All right now. <laughs> we take and put everything in front of yes, sir. God. Yes. Right. But on tonight, I thank God for allowing me and the family uh, additional to our family since we were last here on last year. And, and that was a prayer that he answered. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I just want to share with you, if you don't believe that he'll answer prayer, <laughs> just try. Uh, that's right. right. That's right. Amen. 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 That's right. I, I don't say this very often to, to Deacon Armin Wilson, but when I talk with him, I gain strength. If I could just, just let me be myself for a while. When I talk to Duke, I gain strength because in the eight years that I have been here in Vicksburg, I know what he has gone through. All right, All right, right. preacher. You nobody have to write me no letter. Did nobody have to call me on the phone. I know for myself yes, sir. what Duke has gone through. We had a conversation one day, and my aunt was living, and Duke was sitting at the table, and he said, you know, he said, people look at me like I'm crazy. I said, why you say that, Duke? He said, they call me a laughing hyena. <laughs> I said, man, I'm fighting words. He said, no. He said, they call me a laughing hyena. And I said, okay. He said, but, Rip? If they only knew. If they only knew. I'm going to say it. If they only knew what I have gone through, they would be laughing. Yeah. Two. And I stopped by here tonight 
enough is his will going in from 16 and to 17 to share with you God is a good God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. This time last year I was talking like I had a cold. Uh, I was, my voice was leaving me. Mm -hmm. For one year I tried to, you can't experience this if you haven't been in the military. <laughs> For one year, I tried to get an appointment from the, the Veteran Administration Hospital. And every time that they would give me a, an appointment, I wouldn't be in town. But finally, they gave me an appointment, and I went. And uh, I was telling my doctor, and she said, we're going to have to get you to ENT and see what the problem is. But blessed be to God, long story short, I goes to... EMT and the doctor, she doing what she's supposed to do, and she said, I don't like this. She said, let's go to the next room. She went to the next room, and she started examining me, and she said, you, and it was like on a computer screen, and she said, you see that right there? Mm -hmm. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, now you see it, and I see it. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, now, we're not going to do no biopsy. She said, we're going to schedule surgery. We're going to take that out. I said, yes, ma'am. I said, doc, I said, do you know who I am? She said, you must be a preacher. I said, well, I am. She said, but I can tell you one thing. She said, your voice would be better and stronger All right. when we finish. I'm saying, now, you don't you don't know that because one slip of that scaffold and Harris, I could be in big trouble. But I started laughing. And you know why I started laughing? Because oh, when God. she told me about the surgery, I knew who hand I was going to hurt right now. Amen. I started laughing and I got in a hurry. I couldn't wait to get to the hospital to have the surgery. And after we had the surgery, I was there, and my wife, she came to the bed, and they told me it's a certain procedure that you have to go through before they will let you go home. Uh, and in the meantime, they, like half the moment say, they were having a discussion on me, and uh, I'm just listening, and the doctor, she says, now, he is not to talk for a week. She gave her one of those yellow, and I have it on my desk now, she gave her one of those yellow stick of pads and a pen. She said, if you want to say anything, just write a note. Well, when they gave it to me, I wrote on the pad, Dame, I say, can I eat ham hocks? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, you can eat whatever you want. Just don't talk. Mm -hmm. and, and I I laid there on that gurney. Mm -hmm. We're going to get into this thing. But I'm telling you now about this thing called faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm lying on that gurney. And I told, I didn't ask him. I told God. Don't take my voice. All right, preacher. Oh, give my voice. Give my voice back to me. And blessed be to God. This is the result of the surgery. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 All you have to do is to trust in God. Yes. All right now. Yes. <coughs> mm. Those of us who have been in the military a lot of times, all we had mm -hmm. was prayer. Yes. Is it? Mm -hmm. Nobody know who the writer of Hebrew is. All right. But it has been attributed to Paul. If all right. You were to ask me, Reverend Harris, who wrote the book of Hebrews, then I would say Paul. All right. But you got others that have attributed 
Hebrews to various writers, but through all of my training, my schooling, nobody knows who the writer of Hebrews is. That's right, Doc. But I call Hebrews the faith book. Yes, yes, right. Right. yes, yes right. Right. You will also, let me stop. We thank God for being here. We thank God for the pastor and angel of this house. We thank God for Reverend Moore. Uh, Brother Wheeler, and to the officers of this church, and to you, my sisters and brothers. Thank you, Lord. Uh, but the Hall of Fame, you will find the Hall of Fame of the Gospel in the book of Hebrew. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's it, uh. Talking about the faith of the various personalities in the Bible. Yes, Lord. Well, but I would like to talk tonight about how much faith do you have? Okay. Right. Right. The Bible that I read says if you had the faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed. Okay. Yeah. I don't know unless you cut it, boy. A mustard seed is very minute, it. small and size. But if you take that mustard seed and put it in God's ground, All right. Look here. water it and let it ferment, it will grow into a large stock yes, sir. of mustard green. That I was running all over Vicksburg and Jackson trying to find mustard greens. Oh. Oh, God. A little small seed. If we had the faith, the size of a mustard seed. But now look at what the writer said. It didn't say yesterday's faith. All right. Now, 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 now faith. Now. It didn't say it's faith for. Tomorrow. All right. It didn't say it's mama's faith. Say that. Didn't say that. But it says what? Now. now. Right now. Faith. Right now. When you need it. Oh, right now. Faith. Is the substance. In other words, it's, it's something there. Yes, sir. The substance of things, of whatever it is that's troubling. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Right. The substance of things, Hope. you can't see it. Yeah. Hope. Uh, hope for. Now, if you can see it, it's not faith. Say it's that. Oh, y'all can talk about it. Say that. that. See Don't that? Go. That's another thing that yeah. got wrong with us. We have become sophisticated yeah. Christians. Say that. <laughs> Don't want to say amen because you're afraid that the individual sitting next to you is going to look at you like you're crazy. But you can look at me like I'm crazy. You know what? I'm on my way to heaven now. Right now. You, you, you can't die for me. I got to stand before God's throne and face him for myself. And without faith, can't make it. I have to believe that he is All right. who he says All right. he is. Yes. I have to believe that he is who the divine writers of the Holy Writ say he is. Yes. And that's one that says he is today, tomorrow, and forevermore. All right. No change. Huh? He won't change. But now, faith is the substance of things, what? Hope for. And the evidence of things not seen. In other words, nobody, I don't know anybody that have gone to heaven and can attest to what heaven looked like. What's going on up there? I don't know nobody. Nobody does that had gone there and came back and told us, but guess what? I hope <laughs> when this life down here is over, All right. well, that I'll be able to see the man who hung, bled, and died yes, on Calvary's cross. All right.
to me. Yeah. Are y'all going to talk back to me? The one that died on that Friday, hung on the cross uh, uh, from 3, from 9 o'clock. All right, that's right. From the third to the ninth hour. In other words, from 9 o'clock in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. That man. That man. Uh -huh. yeah. That hung on Calvary's cross and yeah. died. For our, watch the word now, sin. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're in the ground and stayed there Friday night. Yes, sir. Well, yeah. stayed there Saturday night. Yes. Well, yeah. well, yeah. well. Yes. But Matthew said it. Mark said it. All right. yes, Luke said it. Yes, yeah. John yes, closed the book when he said it. All right. All right. Friday morning. Uh -huh. Saturday or Sunday morning. That he got up yes, with all power. Yes, I, I didn't see that. Come on. Mm -hmm. well, I, I didn't see that more. But I believe it. But I believe it. All right now. That's what I'm talking about. Are y'all going to help me? Yeah. All right. It says, for without faith, it is impossible. it's impossible. That, that, that word impossible means it just can't be done. Yeah. Oh, God. Can't be done. I need to help you now. Yes. You look in the sixth chapter of Hebrews, <laughs> and you stop off around that four books. Uh -huh. <laughs> it says that if you have ever tasted it up, up. Yes, right. Right. It, it, it says, it James, it up. if you've ever tasted of the glory of God, yes, sir. and you turn your back on him, you once it. again, they say it is impossible. In other words, you can't do it. It's impossible. To be renewed. Right. Y'all gonna talk back to me. All right, sir. Uh, that, that don't cost you nothing. That's free. All right, all right. All right. Uh, you, you, we, 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 when we were down and out, didn't know how we were gonna make it. Well, but if you have never experienced hardship, that's right. You looking at one who has experienced hardship. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yes, no, no. You're looking at one that went to the cotton field. Yeah, yeah Lord. Yeah. Yeah, Lord. From couldn't to couldn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was dark when I went to the field. Yeah, yeah Lord. Yeah. And it was dark yeah. when I came out the field. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you had to sit down and eat a meal that was left over from the night before. Uh huh. Well, we talking about it was hard. Yes. Uh, when I used to hear my mom sit on the porch. Yeah. And I would hear her say, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to feed my family. Uh huh. Uh huh. But I stopped by tonight to tell you when it was time for us to eat. Yes, sir. Uh, there was food yes, on the table. Yes, Are you going to help me? Uh, I used to hear the old. Uh, Patriot sing a song, but I know yes, yes. that the Lord will yes, make a way. Well, Are you going to help me? Yes, yeah. I'll stop by tonight to tell you that I found out yes. for myself yes. that he will make a way. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. Anybody up in here has ever tried?
sing in the old church. And it says, I tried to make uh -huh, as a man is all right. Is anybody in here? Have you ever tried to man? Have you ever called on him and he didn't answer your prayer? Is he all right? Sister Bowman was saying, that's the problem uh, with us today. Uh, we take too many uh, of these worldly gods uh, and put them uh, in front of our God. Uh, I'm not worried uh, about the government because uh, I know uh, who holds the government uh, in his hand. Uh, they can't uh, do nothing. Uh, Unless the Lord uh, says, all right, uh, but I tell you, uh, you're going to have to cry sometime. Uh, I was just listening uh, to the television. Uh, I was on the internet, uh, and it says uh, that the Republicans uh, can't wait uh, until the 3rd uh, of January uh, so they can repeal uh, Obamacare. Uh, but what they fail to understand uh, that it's not Obamacare, uh, it's affordable care. Uh, God uh, has made a way uh, for his children. Uh, if God, uh, are y'all going to help me? Uh, if God uh, has opened a door, uh, no man uh, can shut it. Uh, on the front of my truck, uh, I bought a placket. Uh, it is says uh, when God uh, closed one door, uh, he opened up uh, another door. Uh, I'm going to lean uh, and depend on it. Uh, man uh, can't do nothing uh, without God. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, they had better uh, leave God's children uh, alone. Uh, he don't test us, uh, but he allows us. Uh, to be tested huh? as long as huh? things are going right. Huh? We take our eyes huh? off of the Lord. Huh? But soon huh? as a stone huh? come in our life, huh? we wear our knees out, huh? calling on the Lord. Huh? You better get ready huh? to wear your knees out. Huh? Because on the prayer, huh? help me say prayer. Billionaires, yes. shaped by billionaires. Yes. 
And then as we were getting ready to come over here, the first thing, the last thing I seen on the internet, it says that the gas prices mm -hmm. has been projected for 2017 mm -hmm. to go up to three dollars a gallon. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. But guess what? Are y'all going to help me? Yeah. You going to talk back to me? Yeah. We were in Los Angeles and I called a friend boy of mine and, and Ray was looking down and I say, man, I say, I'm out here in California and I, he say, Harris, he say, what you doing? I said, we came out here and I told him what we went out there for. I say, gas prices is $4 and 15 cents. He say, what you complaining about? I say, gas prices. It's 415. He said, did you buy it? I said, yeah. He said, well, stop complaining. <laughs> 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 